What's up guys, welcome back to the channel today. We have a crazy video, oh my goodness mister. Guys, Max looks like he's a little bit grumpy. He's actually a really nice boy, just he knows it's feeding time here. And today, we have a special snack for Max. He loves to eat all sorts of different stuff, as you guys have seen on the channel before. But today, we have something new for Max. We have some big fish carcasses, which are right in the truck. Max, are you ready to eat some fish carcasses? All right, look. Step right up, step right up. Come on, come on, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Look what we've got here. I haven't even seen these things in about a day or so because we just caught them the other day. Ooh. Let's get a smell. It smells really good, actually. Not too bad. So we got a bunch of fish carcasses in here. We've actually got this fish, which is a whole fish that we'll bring out in a second because that is for Zeus, the Liger Boy, or Max, whichever one wants to eat it, but that will be in one of the next episodes. So if you guys want to see that, you're going to have to subscribe. We're going to close this for now because Mario from the zoo said we need to check on Malik. Malik is the little boy from the last video, so let's go see him before we get into this. Oh man, look at this stinky little man. You were just the cutest little boy. If you guys did not see the uh, last video, first of all, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. But if you guys have been on the channel for a little while, welcome back. This is Malik, the serval kitten, the serval boy. And he is just the most beautiful, big-eared boy in all the land. The servals have these big ears, these great big long legs, but you would know that if you watched the last video. We are just checking on him, making sure he's good this morning. Are you good? Are you good just hanging out here? He is the sweetest little boy in the world, but like I said, if you guys haven't seen the last video all about the serval cats we have here at ZWF Miami, you guys have to check that out. Do, do my hands smell like fish? Do my hands smell like fish a little bit? All right, all right, we'll put you down. Let's go back to Max and the Lion Pride. Oh man, i pull this big thing. He, he is so strong. All right, we're just gonna take this like this and like this. There's a lot of fish in here. Oh. All right, so that is good. And now we can roll this on over to these big kitty friends over here. Look who's coming to greet us. Look who's coming to greet us. It is Zeus the Liger Boy. Oh, Max is saying I am the one who gets to eat first in this pride. I am the dominant male. But Zeus says, hey, little brother, get out of here. This is, this is big cat stuff. You're just a little boy compared to me. Look how he stands over here. Oh, goodness. So really, Max is the dominant male in this pride. Even though Zeus the Liger is much bigger than him, his demeanor is just much more calm. He doesn't care. He lets Max do whatever he wants because Zeus knows he's going to get the big foods in the end of the day, which is why we have brought this massive barracuda for Zeus to crunch on and uh, that is going to be in one of the next videos. Like I said, you're going to have to subscribe for that to see it because today we are going through the rest of our fillets here. What do we got? Oh, a little African pompano. What do you think about this, Maxi? What do you think about this? Oh goodness. I think Max is going to love this and all of the other guys in this pride. So let's open up the lockouts. So what we've got here is just half of our catch. We've got a big mutton snapper carcass here. And if you look, I'm gonna lay that grouper down. But look at this, what we've left behind after taking away the big filet of meat for ourselves to eat, friends, family, what we take, then we have meat that's all up in these cheekbones. We've got meat down here in the collar. We've got all of the guts inside of there, which are full of nutrition. There's a lot left over here that can be given to either the sharks in the ocean or these top land predators being the lions. And that's what we've got going on today. We've also got this big grouper here who's a little fattier in the cheeks. We tried actually, or we're thinking about taking some of the cheek meat out for ourselves, but we decided to leave it for these lion kids. And I think they are really gonna like it. Guys, comment down below which fish you think they're gonna like more, the mutton snapper or the grouper. Come and ride along in here. Let's get these carcasses over here. So we got the mutton snapper right there and we got the grouper 
Max is gonna come into here. He's gonna pick one of them, probably wanna run out with it. We're gonna have to keep him in here for a second to get some good shots of him crunching on those bones, and then we're gonna release him back out into the enclosure. Then the girls will come in. I don't really know what's gonna happen. You guys are gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see. Let's let Max in to the lockout. Oh, goodness, Max. So when we do these videos and we feed them, the whole goal is about enrichment, right? Getting those new flavors into their mouth. This guy loves to crunch on just about anything. And this is gonna be a lot of fun for him, but he is grumpy and we're not trying to stress him out with the situation. Right now, he thinks that I'm in his space while he's trying to eat and he just wants me out of here, which is why he's trying to spook me and he's trying to spook you guys away from his space. But you know what, Max? Everybody loves seeing you on the camera and we're sharing you with the world right now. So let's let you in to get a delicious, delicious treat. Come on, Max. We're gonna open it up in three, two, one. All right, let's go, Max. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. He's checking it out. Will he get the snapper? Oh, He's saying get away. We're interfering with him. Max, it's okay. Those. Oh my goodness, what is this? What do we have here, big girl? Dana girl, Dana girl wants some fish. We let Max out and he's checking out the pompano. Come around here, come around here. Oh, look at that, look at that. So Max wasn't too interested in the snapper or the grouper, oh goodness. And now he's interested in getting me away from here. Let's see what he wants to do with this thing. Oh, in the mouth. Up to his girls, he's gonna jump right on up. He can jump up there, Max. What have you got there, big boy? Oh, goodness. So Max has dropped the fish in his grumpiness and I don't really know if he wants to eat right now but he definitely will crunch on it eventually but now Dana has come down and swiped the fish from him and now she is able to get a little feast for herself. All right, so the lions weren't too interested in it so maybe we've got to get it to the tiger girls. Tiger girls, what do you think about this? Hi, Bindi. Oh goodness, she's getting right on it. We're getting right into it, aren't we? We got the feeding slot. We're going to drop it in three, two. What is that? What is that, Bindi? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Bindi's got it. She's got it. She's going to take it. Where are you taking it, Bindi? Oh, and here comes Sarah. Sarah sees Bindi's got something fun and tasty. Oh, get it, get it. Oh no, it's sinking. All right, so we left the African Pompano in with the lions. They're munching on that. We've left the one mutton snapper in with the tigers. They ended up getting that, but a tour was coming and we didn't want to be talking and messing up with the tour. So we went back in and got these that the lions weren't really messing with. I think what happened is they ate yesterday you can see all their bellies are big and full, so if they're not hungry, they're not going to want to eat. And maybe next time when we feed the big barracuda to Zeus, he'll be hungry. So that's what I'm hoping. I think he'll definitely crunch on that for you guys in the video. Regardless, none of this is going to waste. But we've got, we've got a big old girl over here who's uh, patiently waiting in the water. Actually, it's not a girl, it's a boy. His name's Lazy, you've seen him before, and you're gonna see him again. We've got some big fish, and Lazy's hunting us right now, saying, who is in my enclosure? We've got to try to wash these fish off a little bit, because they're a little dirty. Now, I don't know if Lazy's gonna be coming out here, but we can clearly see, look at that lens over his eye. Big Lazy boy. Now guys, don't try this stuff at home. Do not try this stuff at home. Here comes Lazy. Can we get you out of the water, Lazy? Come on. Come here, big Lazy. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, Lazy. Let's see how big you are, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is this? He said, it smells good. He said, that stuff smells good. Look how big this massive alligator is. We're gonna go in for the chomp. Oh, crunch time. Shoot it back. Oh, man. That is a good big boy, Lazy, down the hatch. But look, we've got another one for you. See again, nothing goes to waste down here. Look at those big teeth and all that jaw pressure. You know, Lazy's not too fast moving, at least only when he wants to be. Let's see here. Let's see, come on. Let's go. Come on, Lazy. Come on. He says, I know you're going to give it to me anyway. We're going to have to work for it a little bit today. Come on. Let's go. Right here. There's no fish over there. What are you chomping at? Ready? Come on. Come on. Oh, there's a quick grab. Come on. Go straight up. Oh. Oh. Come on, Lazy. And one, two. And crunch time. Oh, man. Big old red grouper. That is a beautiful lunch. That is a beautiful lunch for a big, beautiful gator boy. And now he's going to sit and enjoy that. There's no more, Lazy. There's no more, Lazy. Look at those pearly whites. Oh, goodness. Where is it? Where is that fish? You guys just saw Sukino bouncing around in here. And if you guys haven't seen the channel before, this pond is so hard to keep perfectly blue and clean. I mean, it's not like your bathtub that you guys get in and all clean. These guys roll around in the dirt, go in the water. Go in the water, roll around in the dirt. Then back in the water. Oh, she's looking for the fish. She feels it. She's feeling around. But you can't really see it because the water's kind of dirty. But it is really hard, again, keeping this water clean. It gets changed about every two to three days. So don't worry about the brown water. They don't mind it at all. But she's just trying to look for this fish in here and she can't physically see it. So she's trying to feel around with those big old paws. Where is it, Suki? Oh, goodness. Are you having so much fun? So activities like this, guys, I really hoped that the lions would just start crunching on everything, but then it gave us the opportunity to pull some of those fish out, give some to the tiger girls, pull some out, give some to the big alligator boy, Lazy. And so this video has kind of become from feeding just the lion pride to a lot of the different animals here at ZWF Miami. And these enrichment activities, this is what gets her to come in this water, bounce around and play on a nice hot day like this. She's eventually gonna pull out this fish, but we unfortunately have to go check on the lion kids and see what that African pompano is doing over there and see if it got crunched on. So guys, the lions, as you guys can see, are pretty lazy, just laying down and just hanging out this morning. They're all fattened up from their dinner last night, so they're not too interested today. And not every video ends up exactly how we want it, but that's why when things do work out and go to plan, it ends up being that much more cool. But we still had a lot of fun today. Sukino is literally still behind us, bouncing around in the water. I'm sure that gator boy is just digesting all that goodness right now and these cats are eventually going to crunch down on the rest of this fish in here but look at that look at that big sleepy girl there she is not in the mood look at that big belly too i don't think that cat is hungry at all and max is just hanging out here behind us so i think that's where we're going to wrap things up today like i said stick around for the barracuda video because we did a barracuda before and it was pretty awesome. Now we're doing a Barracuda again, and it's gonna be that much better. We got the new camera, we got all the nice quality. So guys, stick around. And we're also about to go to Costa Rica. Don't know what's gonna happen over there, so you guys have to stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification icon so you'll be notified when I post. I'm Landon Chair, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.